Uh, who are you gonna sponsor by this time? Uh, Tokyo Treat, Sakurako. Saki. <laughs> what are you talking about? Saki. <laughs> Saki. <laughs> Why is that so funny? This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treats and Sakurako. Are you not diamond and you want to be diamond, but that the journey seems too difficult? Well, um, um, all you gotta do is believe. And then you'll make it. Just put in the work, you know. Just, yeah. For me, though, I just need to oh win like a few more games, so I should be fine. If you didn't know already, I have uh, not played this game in a while. As you can see there, I've played 0.2 hours in the last two weeks. Champion, aren't you, bro? YouTuber, don't you play bro all the time? Shut up. You know, I just been playing. Oh god, I have the flat border. I've been playing so many other games, man. Just so many other games. All right, let's just see how it's going. I don't know how. It oh my god. So we're in plat again. It is higher plat, but there really is no difference. It's just people who have stronger offense. Otherwise, there's just no goal, uh, difference between gold and plat. Most people who play Brawlhalla have not played a single other fighting game in their life, so they don't really know what neutral means. Every time someone isn't attacking every single second of the game, they're like, Oh my god, passive! What the hell? Like, look at this. Don't you think that was a bad move? <laughs> the new wall slip changes, I love them, man. I love the new wall slip changes. Messed up. Oh my god, dude. Do you see how many buttons these people press? Look at them. There, there is just not a moment where they're not pressing a button. Look at that. Dude, he was falling. He had to put down the stair. Get used to it. Get used to the timing, and then we can just punish that every time. Stair. 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 Side stair. 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 He won't stop pressing Sarah. What is this, 2017? What is going on? Wow. He's waking up. The plats be waking up, man. Go back to sleep. You can get a lot of elo by just having an incredibly annoying flowchart offense. But if you want to go even further and you want to really learn the game, you need to slow down and you really need to understand what these mistakes are that other people are doing. Playing slow doesn't mean you're like a passive asshole. So if you take note here really carefully, you can, well, not very carefully, you can clearly see, look at this offense, right? He's got some strings. Looks like he's got some, some, you know, reads built into his brain, but then it's very quick. You'll see that this guy has no idea how to approach. The, the entire match here is actually basically just side sick. I don't know what the hell is happening, to be honest. Um, there's actually probably a high chance this guy's trolling. Because I, I do not believe that this guy actually plays like this. Because if he does, then Jesus Christ, Diamond is really as easy as it seems because... If you see here in a second, you're gonna see what elo this guy is. What elo is he? Please tell me. Player one. He's he's 2100. Oh Season ends tomorrow. Oh, I missed get my diamond real quick. I got the border. Yeah, this guy needs to needs to chill out, bro. Every time this man gets away from me, he does a little the little shit. Like literally, look at that. It's just what the fuck. This guy's a fucking menace. Dude, he won't stop dashing. What the hell? What? What is this? No. no, no but like, 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 literally, just, just watch. Oh, they're on one stock. Like, like, when they get back up, like, like, he does not stand still, even for a second. He always. Do you see? Fuck? You see? It's actually disgusting. No, what the hell? He's like chilling, like everything. No, that's what I'm saying. It's disgusting. You know he's gonna go in. Oh. I hit it. Oh, I hit it. Yes. Oh. Holy. Man, Dude, this guy was so fast. Wait, you want to rematch? No, no, oh, no. <laughs> rematch. Let's rematch. Let's go. Let's go. Fucker. <laughs> I didn't even eat dinner. I should probably do that. Later. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oi. Oh, yeah, homework. Oh my God! No way. Convert it. I'm ready. No! Oh, oh, oh. I... No way, he went through that. Damn. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. That wasn't even close. Did I hit it? Yes! Got it. Bah! Food break. I got a few cute stuff here behind me. Um, 
I mean, yes, the, bun the, the bunny is very cute. But we are talking about these today. These guys have been sponsoring me for a few months now. So if you haven't seen it already, I would be surprised. Just in case you don't know what they are yet. First here, we have Tokyo Tree, which is a monthly Japanese subscription box. And you will get up to like 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. Oh, look at that. This one over here is a bit more traditional and authentic. It has artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese, oh my God, including Japanese teas, and one special Japanese tableware every single month. Sakura Co. helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over a hundred years. Each month has a different theme, so let's start with the Tokyo Treat one, which is Sugoi Summer. Both boxes come with these little booklets here. Not only does it have information on Japanese culture and stuff, but also it has information for all the foods inside because you probably don't know what any of them are and then here's the one for the sakura ko one remember to read for oh, okay there it is there it is so every single month uh that you get tokyo treat boxes there's always a different flavor kit kat and every single one has been amazing i've eaten them like in one day it's it's awesome it's delicious so this is the chupa chupa strawberry cream soda now i love strawberry so i'm gonna give this one a go instantly <sighs> It's always, they always surprise me with these drinks. Like, I never see anything like this around the U.S. at all. Oh my god, that smell. Oh my god, that is truffle smell. Oh, that's, that smell is so strong. <laughs> it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna finish these first. Now, Tokyo Treats is my favorite box, but my family loves these traditional ones because they like the pastry stuff a lot more than I do. So what I usually do is I get the box and I give them most of the ones in the Sakura Co. one, then I steal the Tokyo Treats box. Now, this Sakura's theme is Okinawa Retreat. Basically, Sakura Co. is partnering with Ogimi Villages in Okinawa. They have the highest life expectancy in the world, and we've got snacks with ingredients grown right there. Wait, these are chop- <gasps> I would use these all- I, I actually would use this all the time. This is actually- I didn't know that they would- I thought- I thought there was only like cups and stuff. They, they gave me chopsticks! Wait, that's actually so cute. I don't remember the last time I ate blueberries, so I had no idea what it was gonna taste like. Mm, that's really good, really good. Snow salt milk chinsuko. I'm gonna try that. What? It's like um, it's like it's like a, one of those like sugar cookies. Mm. It's so smooth. I love this so much. Am I allowed to say this? This is my favorite Sakura Co box so far. <laughs> But yeah, these guys, they're trying to share Japanese culture to the world through the medium of snacking, and everybody loves food, so. If you want more of these pop-type, you know, modern kind of snacks, you go for Tokyo Treats. If you want more traditional, there's a lot of pastries, there's tea and such, you go for Sakura Co. Make sure to use the link in the description if you want to get some to claim free extra snacks or items with your first Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co. order. It's definitely worth it, guys. There's there's so many, so many, and this is just one of the box. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna take a break and just eat these. All right, final game to diamond, I guess. You know, this journey uh, was a very, very strong and tough one. I have a lot of ups and downs. Slow down. Slow down, Tiger. Oh, no, that's not enough. I want my blasters. I need my blasters. I don't kill, that I don't kill. There you go. Bro, no. Oh uh, no, what? What happened to my foot? Got it again. Oh, bad, 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 bad. No, I'm dead. Nope, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Nah, I didn't dodge early enough. I'll rematch him. I'll take a rematch. He's 2079. Ouch. I don't want any of your scythe gaming. This is, uh, this journey is actually not gonna be flawless. Because I ran into this guy. We're gonna stay in the air all that time. I'm just gonna do it. What? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, how could you? What are you doing? Die. That's punishable. That's punishable. 
That's punishable. That's punishable. This is punishable. Everything's punishable. Is this punishable? Yes, it's punishable. Is this punishable? Or is this punishable? What about this? Or maybe even this? Into this. Into that. Into random side suit. Well, that didn't work. Is this punishable? <laughs> yes, I hit the delay recovery. Kind of help the stage. Oh, oh. oh block. Trying. Okay, that's just where we like to see. <laughs> out, out, out! These are these all. Oh, you're like gone. You're through them. Bro, I'm trying, man. The bullets won't come out. Choking now. Everybody's joking now. Oh, what are you doing, man? Eesh. Okay. Damn. Ah! Oh. Aha! You thought you could kill me? No! You thought you could kill me? It's all a myth. Ah! You thought you could kill me? It's a myth. Uh, I'm not real. Oh shoot! Sure. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. And so. I got diamonds somehow. The footage did disappear. <laughs> so it's just. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end of the video. <laughs>